Hello. Today we are going to be making a doll. Why do you always want to be picked up the minute I start filming? So today we are going to be doing a repaint of a doll, I guess, and like a modification of a doll. Well, okay, first of all, let me just specify, technically, I already started it, but in true ADHD fashion, I started it at like 12 o'clock at night. <laughs> And I was like in pajamas and I looked like a big old slobby nasty slob lady and I didn't want to film an intro because it would be me like hunched over in my Babyland General Hospital shirt and like messy hair being like we made a video today so I'm filming the intro now when I'm a little more presentable and basically we're just gonna be finishing, I guess technically, the doll I started last night. And we are going to be making a bagel baby. <laughs> what is a bagel baby, you might ask? Well, let me tell you. So basically, I love bagels. <laughs> I'm from New England and originally, I live in Georgia now, but growing up in Connecticut, my whole life, I got really used to eating really good bagels and really good pizza. And Connecticut pizza hits different. I don't know, like it's an offshoot of New York pizza, which already is the best pizza. And then Connecticut pizza has some of the best pizza in the country, like New Haven and everything. So I grew up eating like amazing pizza and amazing bagels. I moved down to Georgia and I've been living here for like 11 years now, maybe? Atlanta has some amazing food, amazing food. But the one thing that Atlanta, I, that I have a hard time finding in Atlanta is amazing pizza and amazing bagels. So that got me thinking. I was like, I want to open a bagel shop <laughs> here. Really good bagels that are like, the types of bagels I would get in New England and I would call it Bagel Baby and it would be like some sort of really cute franchise type building thing, I don't know, where it's like super aesthetic and there would be like cute little pinup like bagel girls like all painted all over the walls and the people who worked there got to wear like cute little outfits and you could like pull up and someone would roller skate the bagels out to you. Like just something like, like extremely aesthetic because as I, I just love aesthetics. and eh. So I was like, oh my gosh, how cute would that be? Have like a little restaurant, bagel place and call it Bagel Baby. And if you got a bagel, you would be a bagel baby there. And like you could get little stickers with the bagel babies on them and like, You'd get like, you could get merch of bagel babies and they're just like these cute little like pinup, chibi pinup girls. And then I was thinking like, oh my gosh, how cute would it be to have all different kinds of bagel babies? And like, you know, like there'd be boys and there'd be girls and there'd just be like a whole bunch of different people who just love bagels. And if you love bagels, you're a bagel baby. Like, and so I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna draw these cute little pinup bagel girls but I don't know how to run a restaurant and I don't know how to make bagels. So the only thing I can do is draw the cute art. <laughs> so I drew the art, which is, you know, and then I was like, this is really cute. And everyone in the comments was like, I want a doll of it. And I was like, me too, <laughs> duh. And unfortunately I don't have my own doll line, even though I would love to have a doll line. Like I would, mm, I would die. I have so many good doll ideas. So the next best thing I can do, well, the first thing I can do is like learn to 3D, do 3D art and make dolls and then get it printed. Cause my husband has a 3D printer. So have him print it and then I could like paint them and everything, but that's a lot of work. So instead the next best thing that I can do is get a doll, repaint it as a bagel baby. <laughs> and that's what we're doing today.
there, I hope that covers all the bases. So let's just jump right in. You can see how I started. Okay, this is the doll I got. That's the base for my bagel girl. <laughs> I felt like it was like decently close. So here's hoping, I don't know, we'll see. So I'm just gonna open it up. Okay, so this is the doll. I'm just gonna take everything off of her because my doll is not gonna wear any of these things. Um, so I noticed my first issue that I didn't think about. Her feet are flat and my girls have heels on. That's okay, we'll figure out something, I think. I don't know. I mean, I knew this was gonna happen kind of like, I wouldn't get a perfect fit, a perfect match, but just like something kind of similar, so. You might also have to leave her eyes. I mean, my girl has brown eyes, but this girl has green eyes. I kind of like don't want to take out her hair, but also my girl doesn't have these stripes in it either. I have this doll hair. It is a different color, but I'm wondering if maybe what I'll do instead is like chop off all of her hair essentially, and then put this down instead. to put on her bangs. So I think I might use this hair instead, which means we're gonna cut off all of this hair. Her head's on backwards. There, <laughs> cut off all of this hair. The next thing we're doing is using acetone to take off the paint on her face. So I guess the first thing we will do is spray a base on this face so that it can be prepped and primed for tomorrow morning and then we can paint her. So I think my plan is I have these, I think I'm going to cut these little pieces off to make like the little curls along her bangs here, kind of like this. And then the rest, I have to figure out how I'm going to do this. I don't know how I'm going to do this, but I'm going to have to lay down hair and then I have to make a bun, which I don't know. I'll have to figure out how to twist it. Then I think what I need to do is she's in kind of like a leotard. So I think I'll put, you know what? I should probably take this off too.
Now we're gonna spray her face. I have to figure out how to cover her eyes. Probably just put some tape around them. Oh, like maybe washi tape. Okay, now that she looks terrifying and we've added washi tape on her eyes so that it doesn't get cloudy, we are going to prime her face with Mr. Super Clear so that she's ready for painting. So we can't really tell, but she's primed and ready. I'm gonna take this, uh, well maybe actually we should leave it on just for protection while we do the rest of the makeup. But I'm just gonna follow, just gonna push this out of the way a little bit. I'm just gonna follow what I have done, like my art on how I'm gonna do her makeup, I guess. Pink eye eyeshadow, thick eyelids, and eyelashes. It's a pretty simple makeup thing. I can't really do anything with the eyes, so we're just gonna be doing the eye makeup and lipstick and blush. I'm gonna use this black watercolor pencil to block out, I think, what we want. I'm gonna draw her makeup a little more straight.
Okay, well, I think that's it for tonight. I think I'm gonna go to bed, but I glued on a bunch of hair. It's bald back here, but I think that's okay because I'm essentially gonna pull like all of this. Although, actually, I probably need to make a part here. So I'm gonna glue some pieces here, but this is all gonna be pulled and be buns. So I'm gonna do that. I'll glue some pieces here. And then tomorrow I will, I think, make buns. Good morning. It's the next day. And I have her hair glued in here. I have nothing here, but that's okay. Because we're going to pull it all into like a little, like, bun as such. And then um, I will figure out how to make the rest of the bun. So... I don't have any of those little tiny hair ties, you know, the little like clear ones. So I think I'm going to do like a run to CVS to get those, but also go to Joann's because um, there's still things that I need. So I figure I'll do it all at once. I need to get something to make the little donut that goes around her. Rachel suggested Model Magic, so I might go get something like that. I also want to see if they have any like really tiny ruffles for her little ruffle around her. I think that's what we'll probably do. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, so I'm back. I got the Model Magic. I got white and then this tan. I figured I can use this to make a base for the bagel and then color the rest of it, like shade it and stuff. I got some rubber bands for her hair, some yellow ribbon for like the little thing. I have pink fabric here, so I don't have to go do that. So I'm going to make a little pink fabric ju jumpsuit. And then I have these little hearts for in the little buns and stuff. And then I have little pink bows here too. So I think we're just going to do her hair. I think it looks okay. I mean, it's not amazing, but whatever. Um, the next thing we're going to do is make the body, like the outfit.
at this point, I'm just adding all of the little finishing touches, like the little bagels on her shoes, the bows on the back of the shoes, and just like other little tiny things. And at this point, we can move on to the reveal. Well, that's, that's that. <laughs> I finished her. So let me talk to you about the things that I like and the things that I don't like. I'm going to put you down, Diglett, because I need pants for this. Okay. So this is the completed Goyle. She's very top heavy, first of all. So that's probably one thing that I don't like. Also, she doesn't attach to this because the bagel gets in the way. I do like how her hair turned out. I think it turned out pretty cute. And I was feeling some sort of way about her face. I guess my hang up is the fact that I couldn't get into the eyeballs and change the eyes. But other than that, I think it's okay. Um, obviously there's some differences in her clothing from my design to the doll. Like there was supposed to be a ruffle here and, um, she was wearing heels and she was less child and more just like an adult cause she had bubbies and heels and stuff like that. And this is definitely like more of a child. So it's just the younger version, I guess, of her. I don't know. <laughs> But basically, you know, I kind of like how this bagel turned out that's around her. It's kind of cute and like shiny. I think it was a good idea to put the gloss on it. Her shoes, let's address the feet here because obviously I couldn't put her in heels because her feet were flat. I didn't know how to make like black flats or something for her. So I kind of just used the doll's shoes that she came with, which are these sneakers. And then I glued little bagels on the top with little hearts and then put bows on the back. So like similar to my design, just like sneaker version. Her leotard is a little janky, but that's okay. Cause I'm not a seamstress and it's covered mostly by bagel. So I think like proportion wise, this doll was very close to what I wanted, which is why I grabbed it because the designs are very like big head, small body, longer legs, which is what this was. And I felt like it kind of had a similar vibe, but obviously there are some, you know, differences because this isn't like my own sculpt, but I think for a modification, it's okay. And I can just add it to my, like my shelf of homemade dolls. <laughs> because I'm like, if I can't get a doll of my own, I'm gonna make one. I mean, I think it, I think she's kind of cute. Maybe in the future I'll redo it or like add more, I don't know. I might, if I, if I do this again, I might try to find like a doll that is more like womanly and not as childlike, but I guess that's also a problem when you're getting like child dolls. I think it's kind of cute. She's like casual, casual Jane Plain. <laughs> you know, she's like, I'm gonna go for a run in my bagel sneakers. Cause whenever I go on a run, I put a giant bagel around my torso too, because I always go for runs. Oh, also I will say the bagels on her shoulders are really janky because they kept getting smushed while I was working on her. And I couldn't figure out if I should like 
make them and then have them dry and then attach them or just like dry them on her. And I ended up having them dried on her, but I don't think that that worked very well, but that's okay. <laughs> I don't know, I like her hair. And weirdly enough, like I kind of feel like I like it more than that weird like silky hair with dolls. I get that that's used because you can like brush it, but I don't know something about this hair. Cause it's like a vintage doll hair kind of has a little more like soft. I don't know. I don't know what the quality is, but, or like what it reminds me of kind of like cotton candy. I think overall I rate this a seven out of 10 on the good job scale. <laughs> Let me know what you think down below. Let me know if you think I did a good job or not. Would you get a bagel baby doll if they ever became manufactured for whatever reason in the future? Toy companies, if you see this, I'm, hit me up. Let's make some bagel baby dolls. You got a whole bunch of bagels characters you can choose from. I already started on the design. Just saying. Just, just saying. Just hit me up. Be like, yeah, you're right, Savannah. And then you know what you could do? You could scent them like bagels. Just saying, they come out of the package and they smell like bread. Who doesn't like the smell of bread? And then the little gluten intolerant babes can enjoy bagels kind of because they got a doll that smells like bread. Like I'm really smart, I know. So hit me up, Mattel, Spin Master, Hasbro. Shoot me a message, let's chat. <laughs> I'm just kidding, kind of. I mean, if they did hit me up, I would have definitely work on something. But anyway, that's about it. Let me know down below. I think I'll at least definitely, I have a plan of definitely making stickers of the bagel babies. And um, they're not actual babies. I should specify that because I don't want anyone to get confused that I'm like, you know, that they're like sexy. They're like pinup women, just like chibi. So I just thought Bagel Baby had a cute ring to it. Anyway, that's about it. Feel free to follow me. All of my links are down below. I have a website where I sell art, <laughs> stickers and stuff, sticker book. I have a pre-order for a cute but cursed pinup <laughs> series art book going on right now that you can sign up for and a bunch of other goodies. And then I have an imprint shop where I sell prints and I have a monthly sticker club that you can sign up and I send stickers out every single month. So, okay, that's about it. Goodbye.